Hello, Americans and Patriots. Well, I've been saying keep the country in prayer. I've been saying pray for Donald Trump's protection. I'm saying God's in control and Jesus Christ is still king. And <clears throat> since I assume most of you are not living in the cave, you know that they took a assassination attempt at Donald Trump today. We know nothing, nothing about the shooter right now. Uh, it was at a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. It was his last rally before they go to Milwaukee on Monday for the four days of the Republican National Convention. Now, it sounded like about five shots. To me, it sounded like a twenty-two long rifle caliber handgun. Could be wrong, but I'm very familiar with twenty-twos. That's what it sounds like. I could be wrong. Um, he was looking right when it hit his right ear. And uh, then eventually, the, uh, you, you see Trump go down. You see the Secret Service come to him. Um, I imagine since it grazed him, there had to have been someone else hitting the audience. I, I don't see how no one could have not have been hit. But we've been saying this. We I've been saying July is going to be a hot month. There's going to be all kinds of crazy things happening this month. We still don't know who the VP is. And you have to wonder... What's next? How soon does the military get involved? When does the EBS begin? The Trump sentencing was delayed to September. What happens now? With all the sympathy he gets. Here we go. But the one thing you have to love about Trump is that he raises he's raises his arms up, his fist pumping, and says, Now yeah, basically say, You wanna fight, you gotta fight. And he did it again before he got the SUV. Now, you got a lot of a spunk in spirit, but uh, at that point, you really want to listen to the Secret Service agents. And I'm going to make this point also. I know the Secret Service is short on people, especially when it comes to these rallies. And they have all these foreign dignitaries, because I know a couple people. But why is there a five-foot woman hovering over Trump? I'm just going to leave it there. Anyway, keep the country in prayer. Keep Donald Trump in prayer. We'll talk to you later.